Hey guys, I'm back again. I've um, been on holidays, uh, so yeah, I'm back now. So this is my first video I'm going to make. Um, I've just been watching quite a few videos on compressed air engines, and I uh, thought I'd um, just attempt to make one with that Briggs engine there. Oh, right there, up in the rack. So what I gotta do? Because that engine's pretty pretty bugged. So um. Yeah, what I'm doing, gonna do is uh, try get there <laughs> and get it out, and then I gotta drain the oil, and then um, take the cam out and grind it, and put some blobs of weld on there, and then grind those back, and yeah, try and make the engine into a two-stroke, pretty much. And then I gotta think of a mount to put the air in the intake. Um, that probably won't be too hard. It's just probably just sheet metal. And then I'll just weld a fitting in there that I will buy from Bunnings or something like that. And uh, that's about it. So, yeah, I'm just going to grab that engine now and drain the oil out of it and shit like that. And that's about it. I hope you guys didn't miss me too much. Because I've been getting probably, probably got about 50 p.m. so far. People asking where the hell I am. And, um, yeah, but thanks for caring about me, guys. And now I'm just going to go grab this engine. Alrighty, the cam is all done. Made all new lobes. All of the ones you see I made just by welding it and then grinding it back. Yeah. Alrighty guys, the cam is all done. I've just made up this little plate. I made it up by just um, getting the gasket off and then just tracing it onto some sheet metal. And then I didn't drill the center hole the size that that gasket is because what I made it for is to screw this in. This was originally from my old air engine. I went on this little one and I used to just screw into the spark plug hole. So what I did is just made it screw into this. So I had to cut one of the screws shorter because it goes into there. The one that goes into there is shorter, but because usually you have your carburetor, that takes up a lot of the um, space. But anyway, this will just screw on like so. I'll just screw that on now and I'll show you what it looks like. So that just screws on there like so. And then, I might have to put a seal around it. I'll see how I go. But, then that's like that. And then this little one here, just screws in there. I mean, it's hard to do this with one hand. But, it does screw in there. Okay. So, anyway, that will just sit like that. And then I'll just whack my air compressor on there. And then, um, and Bob your uncle. I'll just screw that in there to show you that it's screwed in there. Alright, so that screws in there like so. And that... It's not coming out, so... That will definitely work. So that's... It's my fuel source type thing. Now the cam... You can see the function of it. I'll get it on the first stroke. So, right about now, the intake valve is opening. So this will fill up with air, create a pocket of air, and then the pressure will build, and the intake valve opens more. Pushes that down, and then the intake valve closes. The exhaust valve opens, this comes up, and then the exhaust valve is open for a little bit more, to there, the intake valve opens again, and the cycle continues. So 
So now I'm just going to whack the head gasket on, uh, the head and the gasket on. Um, whack some air into it, and um, then I'll just use like a screwdriver to crank it over, or something. I'll find something to crank it over because I don't want to use my hand just in case it um, it goes 100,000 miles an hour. So, yep, I'll work the head on and connect some air to it and see if it goes. First try of the air engine. Nah. Put this in your front garage. Too much of an air leak around there. Let's do your front garage. Yeah. Nothing. Send it. Alrighty, this is the air engine. Uh, it wasn't going before, but I just put a gasket on here and some plumbers tape. And um, yeah, now I'll show you how it goes. Fifty psi, and it kicks off at about forty. Um, yeah, it sounds really funny because of that exhaust. The timing is like one little click off, so I might just change it, and it should run a lot better. But yeah, I'm very happy with that. <laughs> it goes. Um, yeah, so I have. It doesn't have any oil in here at the moment because. I didn't know if it was going to work or not um, because that timing, I knew the timing was one click off. Basically, um, the intake valve is opening slightly too late, which then makes it stay on a little bit. It stays on when the piston's coming up for like a millimeter, and then, it, then the exhaust valve opens, so the piston is actually getting force on it acting downwards when it's coming up so if I just change it one click back then the um, intake valve will open a little bit earlier and then it will shut off when the pistons and it's fullest downstroke so then it should work a lot better um, but yeah <laughs> I made that um, you know no instructions I just thought of the idea and um, I've seen a few videos done, done of it before but yeah just whip that up and it's all going, so, yeah, now I'm just going to take this apart, well, not today, but um, maybe tomorrow I'll rip it apart again and uh, change that cam timing, and then I'll test it out and then fill it up with oil so it's getting lubricated, and it pro probably will go better when it's got oil in there as well. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and catch you guys later.